Welcome back guys, we're back again with another WordPress tutorial. This time we're going to be going over Matomo Analytics, how to download the plugin to check its analytic values. It can be used instead of Monster Insights and stuff like that and provide some really good data about people visiting your site. Now let's just have a quick look at the Matomo Analytics first or at the Analytics page just to see if you can like it first and to be honest it's pretty good. I've been using it a little while on one of my sites and I can't complain. I've just done this for the whole period of the year. Um, the site's only been up about a month or so anyway but as you can see we've got our visitors, we've got the actions, um, we've got what countries they're coming from so it's got a lot of information. You've got it all on this one page which makes it really simple um, and easy just to go through whether they've been using a smartphone, a desktop, what operating system they use, even the resolution it really is quite detailed and it's got all of this all on one page so let's get it downloaded onto your site so you can check out all the important stuff that you want to keep up with with your site so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding it to this site here which hasn't at the moment got any sort of insights i've deactivated anything else so we're just going to go ahead and download matomo analytics so let's go ahead to the plugins page first so we're going to want to add the new plugin and let's go to add new i'm just going to type matomo into the search bar and as you can see on the top left we've got matomo analytics ethical stats powerful insights and we're going to go ahead and install as you can see we've got 20,000 plus uploads so far it's managed to maintain its five stars and it's looking pretty good reviews are pretty good too so let's go ahead and install once installed we're just going to go ahead click activate then it'll take us back to our plugins page and we can go check out the settings and what it can do as we can see on the left hand side we have a matomo analytic and let's go to get started to actually get started with this and we're going to go first of all if you want to enable tracking the tracking is going to be of the people that visit your site what they do include here so what we're going to do is we're going to enable tracking now so we can actually track people coming through our sites and their devices and stuff like that and on the second point it does give you a very handy short code here for an opt-out button usually we'll put this on a privacy page or something like that so if people don't want to get tracked they can actually go um, physically click this so they can take themselves off the tracking so let's go ahead first let's go and enable tracking now so that's all done only took a few seconds now what we want to do is just copy this short code here so a tomo opt out i'm just going to copy the short code we have a privacy policy page on here if you don't have it i do highly suggest it even a general privacy policy page will be better to the no privacy policy page. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, uh, we're going to edit the page right on the bottom um, we'll add whether they want to opt in or out I'm just going to write a little short thing in here just saying opt out of tracking on the bottom of our privacy page and it says we use Atomo analytic tracking to opt out please uncheck the box now to put the box in if you aren't sure yourself if you just uh, uh, type in short code there into your block editor um, you can just type in the short code so if we go ahead paste there now we can go and preview the page. Let's just make sure the actual button is popping up. And now we have uh, our privacy apology right there. And if they want to opt out of tracking, they'll have to come onto the privacy page and just unclick this box. That means we won't be able to track them. So they do have the choice. So I'm just going to go ahead and update this page. So people can actually use it. And let's go back to the plugin. Let's go back to the get started. Make sure that we're all set up. So let's go to get started over here. And as we can see, we've now done it. We got down to done. Only them couple of steps. So don't show this page anymore. The Tomo does give you 100% ownership of your data no one can see your data it's got powerful web analytics and it's also got no data limits as well as well as easy installation configuration as you've just seen now it's only taken a matter of seconds we've already done so now let's just head down to our summary page just to see what we've got going at the moment of course we haven't got any information because we've only just added it on you can check though from yesterday today this week etc so you can check all your reports if you want to see a more extensive report um like a full report of everything you can on the top page go to full report it'll take you to the matomo site and it will have a much more in detailed report than what you already have on your page as you can see it's already tracked me that's one visit one action etc so um yeah you can just come over to this page it's very handy it's got lots of information you can check about visitors behavior acquisitions you can even add your e-commerce and stuff like that in there so again i just want to say how good the amount of information is and how um well it's actually put on this page um to see that let's go back to our old page just to see a bit more information and here you can see how many visits we've had uh, per country we can see the resolution size of each person Person that's watching you can check out their operating systems the amount of visits the browsers they used page views unique page views you can see where they've been exiting from so here you can see I've had a lot of exits from the home page so potentially what I might want to do now is develop my home page better to make it so they're actually um, using more of the buttons interacting more with the page because I can see a lot of people are exiting from there again much like my blog here you can see my blog I've got a few more exits than the other one so I might want to add a few more bits to make it more interesting so people aren't exiting from that page you can check 
check out your page views from the titles. You can check out your, your references, outlinks, social networks, your goals if you add them, and again, your e-commerce. So you can literally add everything on here from your orders, your visits with conversion, revenue, subtotal, taxes, shipping, discount, all of it's held here. And it's a very powerful resource. Um, I don't use it on all of my sites, but I am actually starting to use it more now. Monster Insights is good, but without getting the premium version, um, you know, you can't see as much information as this on one page. Now let's just go down to the settings. It's not going to be, I'm not going to go through all of the settings here, because I do have a lot of settings. Obviously this is something that you might want to configure yourself, but it's always good just to take a look at. You've got the options of tracking here and what you want to track. You can do customized tracking, uh, which of course is optional and you can check or uncheck anything that you want to track on here. For developers as well, they do have a tracker debug mode here, which you can enable if you want to. You can change your accesses. So um, you can see what roles can actually view the data on here. So whether it uh, be an editor or an author and you can see whether they can view write them or be in admin mode or of course none and they do come as default as none as you can see here they really do drive in the point that Matomo Analytics is private you are the only one that holds your data and um, they even say there that no one in the business or Matomo team member can access any of this information or logs or report data um, and they'll never be sent to other servers by Matomo it is also open source which I do very much like because it means lots of people can go in have a look at it, see if there's any bugs, see if there's any problems, they tend to fix it much better. Here again, you do have your tracking code on the bottom if you do want to add uh, or let the users opt out. You've got a nice exclusion area here. We can do a tracking filter, global list of excluded IPs and stuff like that, which can be quite good if you are trying to exclude certain IPs and stuff like that. And as you can see, we have the more advanced section and a Matomo admin sections. We do have another few free plugins that will also come with it. We do have paid as well, but the two top free ones is marketing campaigns reporting. This is, of course, if you have got a business and you're selling stuff you want to be measuring the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns and another free one is custom alerts so you can get custom alerts with any changes to your website or app there's of course like every plugin um, other premium plugins that you can install or premium features shall I say and of course if you do want to just take a good look we're not going to go through that today um, have a look and if you do want to get it then that's up to you got quite an easy diagnostics section here you can copy the system report if you do want to if you do have any problems or you can come over to troubleshooting as well um, they've got lots of different things and also a search bar which you can search on matomo.org they'll help you stop any issues that you're having so again i do very much recommend this plugin of course it is up to you you can use any plugin you like however if you do want to look for a different one then this might be the one for you so if you're not online yet make sure to go over to seeker host you can get yourself a wordpress site PBM blogs. You can get yourself a unique domain. Search through the search box to easily find within seconds different domains that will suit you better. And all that for only around 95p per blog. And around the same price to your WordPress sites as well. You can get a starter package, a standard growth package, or of course the premium where you can hold up to 10 WordPress sites. So guys, for any more videos like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content. We have lots of WordPress tutorials blogging tutorials, how to use expired domains, how you can make money off WordPress sites, and all the sort of stuff that you're going to want to know to grow your blog. So we'll see you next time on the next WordPress tutorial. Bye-bye.